I love this stuff, the unsanctioned pace line. Those of you who watch the Neuro Show know that we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, and I love it. I love everything about it. Now, what I want to do is take you inside one of the ones that we do here in Sydney, but I'd love this to be a conversation because I know these exist all over the world, and I want to hear your thoughts on some of the traits that we have in this particular pace line, how that differs from the kind of things that happen in your pace line. But we are kicking off time to rip in. Now this isn't gonna be like, you should do this, you shouldn't do that. There are all these unwritten rules, but I know I do get a lot of people asking questions about like, they don't know how to sort of form and get into this kind of stuff. So I wanna point one thing out that this young fella in front of me does in a minute that's that's not going to make you a lot of friends and i doubt it'll make you a lot of friends in any pace line anywhere around the world all right so he's kind of slotted into kind of fifth or sixth wheel and at this point he's sort of holding the wheel and oh hang on he's dropped the wheel okay so what what should have he done down there should should comment down below guys but i would suggest potentially he could have given me a little bit more warning that he was going to drop the wheel maybe just sort of give me a little arm signal or something like that that he was going to drop the wheel i reckon if he does that quite a few times in a pace line anywhere around the world he ain't gonna make many friends so I interrupt this mildly informative chop video to have a little bit of fun. Now you guys know that Jesse and I talk a lot about the type of bikes that we see in Sydney. Yes, you probably won't see any treks in this video. What you will see a heap of though are the Cervelo S5s. So I want you to count them. I want you to see how many you can come up with by the end of this video. And I don't know, potentially turn it into a drinking game. S5s versus everyone else. Now, speaking of bikes, yes, I am riding the titanium bike, the Mosaic titanium bike. I'm going to continue to try and test it. I'm working on something in the back, rollerblade on the left. I'm not rollerblading yet. Maybe that's my next sport. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to test. And it's this kind of stuff here, right? That I just, these little accelerations, these little moments that you just, I mean, I can't, I don't know how to quantify them in like a, a test or anything like that. So I'm trying to get a feel for how it plays in that circumstance because I feel that that's still the area that potentially you're going to start to feel it, it let you down. So I'll, I'll let you know, guys, that video will be coming. So what is a pace line, I hear you ask, where it's this bizarre thing that suddenly happens at a certain time for an hour here in Sydney, and we all try and go as fast as possible. And to go as fast as possible, you ride in this pace line group. And this is what's taking place at the moment. We are riding up on the right-hand side because the wind is coming over from the left. And as that rider moves across, I come through to do my turn. Now you'll see my power sort of go up as I come across the rider, but then when I get in front of them, I drop the power down. So then that sort of allows them to sit onto my wheel and essentially allows the next person to roll over the top of me. Now we have some, let's call it metropolitan furniture to get through here. So obviously that next rider can't sort of safely come through and take over their turn. But as I said, I just want to quickly point out the wind because the wind can be something that can confuse people when they sort of start getting into this. So we're going to come round the corner. The guy's going to roll over the top of me. Now that wind is still sort of coming over our left shoulder. So what should he do now? Move right, mate. Yeah, so because he was sitting way over on the left, he was putting everyone in the gutter and not allowing anyone to roll through to do their next turn. So he comes further over to the right. I can come and roll through over the top of him and we can kind of restart the pace line. It's not a big thing. It's just something to consider if you're going to go and do one of these. Have a little think about where the wind is because it will dictate which way you roll because sometimes you roll right, sometimes you roll left. And it'll also dictate which side of the road to be on. It's really hard to monitor your ego, right? In these things, it just is, because it's like, it ultimately turns into this, you're like, how strong are you? How strong are they? Kind of, kind of thing, right? And that, that's cool. Like, that's the best part of doing this, right? You know, it gets the adrenaline going, all that kind of stuff. But if you're new to it, it's really hard to monitor your ego and, and not blow yourself up, all right? So I'm gonna play this sequence out because, well, this is essentially me being soft but it kind of works for me, right? So, so we, again, we're back in the pace line thing. We're sort of rolling through. Now, the guy in the maroon, absolutely ripping it here. That's, so I'm, I'm 62 kilos. I can't, I, I'm blowing here. So at this point, I'm like, should I roll over the top? 
Now, if I'd roll over the top there, I guarantee you, I red line, I'm dead. Okay, so I just slotted back in. Didn't drop his wheel, slotted back in, waited for him to potentially ease up a bit, and then came over the top of him, all right? Now, that's a hard sort of one to articulate and get right because I don't want you just like to sit second wheel the whole time and not roll over. So, you know, there's there's a balance to, to what I'm sort of saying there. But you do see it a lot. Like, guys will come do and do, do like 800 watt turns blow themselves up and never be seen again in the pace line all right but this oh this is great i love this too this is what it's all about so someone comes over the top of you too hard you got to squeeze back over over to bridge the gap do some miller masters welding and then he squeezes. this is what it's all about right you can't you can't get this in, a, in an interval training session and then he's going to sort of sprint from second wheel for no particular reason that's what's awesome about this stuff like he's just sprinting from second wheel for no particular reason and I'm desperate to get back to his wheel for absolutely no particular reason. Can I get there? Come on, Miller. Hey, got there. Straight over the top. Straight over the hop with 290 watts. Well done. You're, you're, on, you're on a good day, Chris. You're on a good day. Right, so I want you to watch the guy in the blue who just went past me there. Another, another look, this, let's, we're just having a bit of fun, but this is, this is probably the way not to make many friends, all right? So he's going to roll through up there, and he's done exactly, I reckon, what I just said, is he's gone and rolled the 800-watt turn, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just creep around, see if we can have a look. So we should be back in the echelon. We'll have a bit of a look. Blue jersey, blue jersey, dropping the wheel of the person in front and going backwards very quickly. Again, you know, do whatever you want, unsanctioned, etc., etc. But trust me, go do that a few times in your local baseline. You won't be making many friends. So here's the question. Here's the question I want you guys to help me out with. Now, can you attack in a pace line, an unsanctioned pace line? Is what's, what's the etiquette here, all right? Well, my take, my take is yes, absolutely you can go and attack, but it comes with a little bit of a caveat from my perspective, okay? And that is that if you're gonna attack, you have to have been involved in the pace line. Like you have to have been rolling turns for the majority of the race, or the, the ride, I should say. If you just sat on the whole way and then do some massive launch attack on the last lap of the pace line, everyone's like, who's this dude? I don't think that's, that's not gonna make you too many friends in my opinion. So so I reckon you've got kind of two, op two options for the, the type of attack. And the first is this one. So this the, the Maltese Falcon's been pulling a heap of turns, heap of hard turns, and his attack is just this, he's rolled through to the front and he's gonna pull a massive, massive burner, right? For me to just kick over to his wheel was like a 700 watt squeeze and just to hold his wheel on the, we're going downhill, right? Just to hold his wheel, I'm having to almost do sort of 500 watts. Like, I, I can't do this, right? And clearly, nor can he, but he's going like absolute full gas. <laughs> Pulled a turn, he's just brought the group along and that's like savage, right? Let's finish with some controversy, all right? Let's finish with some controversy. Interested in your thoughts on this. So this attack, this attack is, I think, questionable questionable i want your thoughts down below we're going to dive deep into this one because this is uh this is out there so I, i'm on the front here at the moment must be the the one lap that i did some actual work now what we've got going on here is we're going to see an attack on the far left we're going to see an attack on the far left an s5 how I many is that i don't know so there's the attack there's the attack now i would argue that particular rider hasn't done enough and i think he knows it okay i think he knows it so let's let's play this out all right this is what i love about this stuff because it's all just it's all just antics all right so i've managed to get across to that attack now we're going to play this out because i want you to watch the rider who did this one look back two look back three look backs with a big smile on his face four look backs with a big smile on his face i reckon he knows that was a little bit of a douche move and that's all good but let me know down below, guys. Can't wait to hear what your thoughts on your local pace lines are. Is there a few little local traits that you guys pay attention to that maybe we should have a think about here? Let me know down below in the comments. See you later, mate. Pass my best on to Brody. Fucking amazing.
Now, if you liked this thing, make sure to let me know. I will drop some links to some similar videos that we've done in the past down below. And I will also drop the links to the Neuro Show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, because we are pumping that show out weekly. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you real soon.